Hi, I'm computer engineer Barbie. Other words for me include software engineer, software developer, they all pretty much mean the same thing. More on that later. I love starting my day reading some tech news. It allows me to just wake up my brain without getting into anything too heavy. Some things in store for us today include a meeting with some team members, that'll be fun, and then I'm gonna do some coding for this game I've been developing. I'm so excited. Okay, awesome. I feel really ready to get started. First, let's talk about what it means to be a software engineer. Well, simply put, software engineering is the practice of writing, maintaining, designing software. You know apps on your smartphone like Instagram and TikTok? Or video games like Fortnite and Minecraft? Yes, those are all built by software engineers. I specifically love talking about games because that's the type of software engineering I do. Now software engineering doesn't have to be this huge thing like creating a whole game or a whole app. Even your more basic sites are built by software engineers. So what skills are required to be a software engineer other than knowing programming languages? Well, problem solving is vital. If you like puzzles or find yourself just excited to solve new things, this may be the, uh, the career for you. Communication is another huge skill for this field because you're gonna see very soon, and I think it's actually gonna be in just a couple minutes, so hold on. You're gonna see how much working as a team is important to get things done on the job. Okay, let's run over and set up for a meeting because I think they might be waiting for us. Hi Ken, hi Ken, hi Ken, hi Ken, hi Ken, hi Ken. There's a lot of Kens in this meeting and on the team. That's another thing to note about software engineering. There are a lot of Kens around. It is very male dominated, but hey, I'm really fortunate to be on a team that welcomes me and all of my ideas. Kens, I'm thinking of adding a new trick for the doggy game. I'd like to swap out the doggy sit for a twirl. What do we think? Team meetings are necessary for making sure everyone fully understands what responsibilities they have, and it also allows them to ask questions and ask for help. Don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Great, have a great weekend. Bye, Kens. <sighs> okay, great. I am so excited to get coding on this new project. I'm so close to getting it done, and I really hope it's done today, so ah! Fingers crossed. In fact, let me show you what that project is. I'm building a puppy game where you are instructed, you as the user, are instructed to make the dog do tricks. And there's some blocks and a timer and it's all very fascinating. I can't wait to show you. But first, I, uh, I have some bugs to fix, so let's do that. It works and I am so excited. Let me show you what it does. <sighs> Ready to see the game? So this is a spin on that memory card game that I used to love as a kid. The screen tells you what tricks it wants the doggy to do. So that could be jump, twirl, or roll. The player has one minute, 60 seconds to get as many right as possible possible and just keep getting better and better playing the game. I love testing things like my memory and just waking my brain up, so I thought this was a fun, cute way to do that. Software engineering can be hard, but honestly, it's so rewarding getting to end the day like this, 
seeing my game come to life and knowing that I tackled every problem that came my way. All of course with some help from my team, some resources around me, but yeah, I'm so, so happy with it. Are you happy with it? Thank you so much for going through the day with me. It was so much fun having you around and I'll see you very soon. Hopefully in a team meeting, bye.